after a lengthy search, we did not find or locate a gun on the property. Baltimore Police Commissioner Michael Harrison telling reporters Wednesday, despite reports that 57-year-old Kevin Mason had a gun and his threats to kill police, no gun was found at the site of a standoff that began Sunday night. Mr. Mason repeatedly said he had a gun and would shoot our officers if they stayed on his property. Police say they were called to the 4900 block of Pembridge Avenue for a domestic situation. A woman inside Mason's home said that she was in fear of Mason. Police body camera footage shows police arriving and Mason chases those officers off his porch with his dog. He then calls 911 and makes threats. Mason then walks out of the back of his home and yells at officers, then goes back inside. You can't see it, but they say he had a gun. You got a handgun. Watch out. Uh, have a handgun. About 15 minutes later, Mason came outside again, and one officer fired two shots. Come on, stand on the roof. Hands up. Mason went back into the home. Several hours later, a woman exited the home and told police that Mason was asleep. SWAT moved in and found him dead. Wednesday, Commissioner Harrison says all protocols were followed. No one ever wants to see a life lost. No one ever wants to, 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 to have that to actually happen. Um, but this was probably one of, if not the most dangerous situations we can find ourselves in. Uh, police have identified the officer that fired his gun as 25 year old or 25 year veteran John Johnson. He's since been placed on administrative leave. It's also unclear at this point as police are not saying whether or not uh, Mason was shot in fact by Johnson. They are still waiting for an autopsy to determine that. We are live in Northwest Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.